I'm watching the news uh, mainly because it's quite exciting what's happening in Melbourne with the protests, even though I don't agree with uh, uh, the, uh, I don't know. I, I think, I'm not an anti-vaxxer, but I think the what they're doing in Melbourne is um, pretty monumental. And uh, so that's why I'm watching Channel 9 News, because Channel 9 News love to watch the minute, to, broadcast the minute to minute freaking developments of um, news as it as um, it unfolds, whether it's as relevant as this or as irrelevant as, um, you know, some police chase happening in um, Greenacre, you know. So I've had to watch some of the Channel 9 News headlines in between and watch what other news they've got going. And I just watched two really stupid people have a really stupid conversation about a stupid topic that they have no real fucking experience in, I'm guessing. So the the topic was um, how this lockdown has been so incredibly detrimental to the youth and the teenagers and the kids. And it's having a drastic effect on their well-being. And um, their routine has been... Um, uh, broken and they are um, withheld from doing the things that they love and that are passionate about. I totally disagree. Um, my kids are thriving in lockdown. Uh, they're studying, they're self-motivating themselves to start to do their work. They're finishing their work earlier. They're enjoying the family home life balance. So if your kid is at, been at home with their, their family for like the past nine months, however long this has been going on, if that kid is depressed and anxious, there's something going on with the family because there's nothing kids like more than having family time and they've got all the family time they want at the moment and that should be uh, fine for normal healthy kids. Um, this is the new normal routine. Kids adapt. They can adapt to situations and I'm sure kids would be loving having time with their parents unless their parents are fucked up and mean and bullies and they're stuck at home with them. That's the issue with the mental health, not the lockdown. Um, our kids have been begging us to take uh, notice of them and to pay attention to them and all their little uh, talk conversations and their questions and their activities and things that they made. They now have their parents' time all to themselves. They're fucking happy, man. They're, and if they're not happy, they'll learn to adapt and adjust. They'll survive. And they've got social media and phone and internet to stay connected with their friends. And that's how they were communicating with their friends anyway before this happened. So I just find it really stupid. I'm getting really annoyed with all these like psychologists um, with their, you know, evidence of like mental health for the youth and all that sort of shit. There was mental health youth before COVID. Um, being stuck at home where you're safe with your family, the most important people in your life who you love more than anything and anyone shouldn't be a fucking depressive, ang ang anxious thing. It's actually a beautiful thing. And um, the fact that lots of parents would be probably be looking and reassessing all of their work, home, life, family balance at the moment is going to be a big changes for everybody. But it's necessary changes that, that bring help to bring families together and realise what's important. Maybe you've realised you hate your family. Maybe you've realised, oh my God, I haven't like, all this time before this lockdown, I haven't really been noticed, noticed this about my son or that about my daughter. Um, you're forced to have that fucking downtime quality time. You're forced to learn how to cohabitate. Yes, it's difficult and it's hard, but if you're at home with your family and your loved ones, nothing else matters, really, in life. doesn't matter about this. Yes, it's a shame that kids don't have weekend sport. That's a really important part of childhood. I understand that. Um, but you know what? If you've got a few people in your household, you've got a soccer team. You can go out the back and play soccer and, and, and start your own championships. The inventive, resourceful, resilient families will be really benefiting from this. The families that are fucking repressed, not happy, toxic, um, got unaddressed issues, got alcoholism, depression and DV, yeah, they're going to be having a shit time. So I just hate how Channel News likes to just blanket everyone with their generaliz generalizations and their recommendations from fucking cunts that aren't even experts. Um, I think everybody on Channel 9 is a fucking idiot. And um, it's just... I just wanted to say that, really. That's all I wanted to say. And um, I'm I'm enjoying watching the footage of the, of the um, mass amount of people now doing a big march across Melbourne. So my my opinion of why they're, they're, they're uh, protesting is not, not really supporting the, the cause. But I am supporting... The fact that these people are making a stand, they believe in what they're making a stand about. Yes, they're being violent and dickheads to police, and they shouldn't do that. They shouldn't be giving the police a hard time, okay? But this kind of marching and disrupting and people doing wheelies and, you know, people showing up to the protest who actually 
aren't in construction, who just want to be amongst it, uh, I understand it because this march is just, a, I don't really think it's only just about the vaccine. I think it's about something a lot more than that. And I think that people have been fucking towing the line, doing the right thing, abiding by the laws, going to work, work like a dog, paying their tax, paying their car, paying their house, insurance, kids' school fees, blah, 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 blah. And they just keep getting shat on an incompetent government. And they just have to cop it. And this is just the last straw for them. They're just like, fuck this. I've been doing this and this and this for years, doing what I'm meant to be doing, trying to take care of my family and pay my bills. And um, you've taken now I've taken my only role, which is provider for the family, the breadwinner, You've taken that role away from me. Fuck that. So I get that anger. I, like, as in, I can understand why they're angry and marching. And I think that this is, like, years of fucking vent-up bullshit. And people just showing up to this just because, like, we've been needing to riot and have a revolution for fucking many years now. So um, now seems to be the time, appropriate time. And um, I'm interested to see how it develops. I'm sorry if anybody gets hurt through it. I'm, I don't want any policemen to get hurt. I don't want any protesters to get hurt. But this unfortunately it might happen and um i'm just in my home safe little home um thinking about my kids in their safe little home with their dad and their sister and they're they're enjoying their their times i also have another fucking bone to pick with the people having a whinge about their loved ones in aged care that they're not allowed to visit um if you wanted to visit your loved one in aged care don't put them in the fucking aged care facility in a fucking institution that treats them fucking like shit most of the time um, you're the one that decided it was more important to go to work than have your loved one at home and work like part-time or casual or try to come up with new ways of looking, looking after your elderly loved one and working. Okay, we're all under the pressures of fucking modern day expenses and trying to like, you know, um, pay off a mortgage with a double income and everyone in a marriage is fucking depressed because they're stuck together financially, paying off a house and so you've decided to put your a fucking mum or dad in an aged care facility because you simply don't have the time to look after them and you don't really know how to access NDIS and get a carer or whatnot, okay? Those fucking same people are now sitting here having a whinge about like how, like, how awful it is that they can't be with their um, loved one in the facility because of COVID. Well, if you fucking have a problem with it and you're stuck at home in lockdown, not able to go to work anyway, get your fucking loved one out of there and bring him home and, and live with you. If you've got such a big problem with it, but what now, all of a sudden you've decided that the aged care facilities are not um, nice places for your parents to be in. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't whinge about you fucking not able to see your loved ones dying when you're the one putting them in there. Get them out. So many cultures I know won't send their fucking loved ones to facilities. They make things work. They look after their elders. We don't. That's a big problem. So, uh, yeah, I have no patience for people who are whinging about aged care at the moment. Tough up. This is it. You want to you've created a society that has these institutions where old people go to die. You know, and they aren't nice. They aren't run very well. So, um, if you didn't know that before you put your mum or dad in the home, you fucking well know that now, huh?